so guys we will solve the exercise 3a okay i have solved all the all the questions here i must request you go through the details and solve it the same in your copy okay so this is you know chapter or exercise 3a guys you see the question number 1 we will solve first the question number 1 so what is the question number 1 guys just uh, uh, refer to the question what do you understand by simple machine is the first question okay and state the principle of an ideal machine so guys what is a machine a machine is a device by which we can either overcome a large resistive force at some point by applying a small force at the convenient point and in desired direction or by which we can obtain a gain in the speed okay and what is an ideal machine guys okay so you see the difference between ideal and what the practical machines which we i already have discussed this on my last video okay guys i mean the video of what machine you can see here uh, an ideal machine there is no friction the efficiency is 100% and you know the work output must be work input okay so moving on to the next question state the uh, state four ways in which machines are useful to us okay so guys uh, there are different four ways it's already mentioned please go through that then question number 3 Name a machine for which of the following use? A multi uh, to multiply the force. So you see, guys, to multiply force. Suppose a a jack is used to lift a car. Yes or no? Here the force is being multiplied, guys. The load is a car which we cannot uplift by through our hand. So just by applying a small effort at the jack, we can able to uplift the big. So you guys, please follow the other you know the option as well. Okay. See the next next question. Question number four. What is the purpose of a jack in lifting a car by it? So the purpose is to make less effort simply so that the force is being multiplied and the effort you know will be applied less see that likewise guys the next question is what is the difference between the ideal and practical machine if you see here this is this is the difference guys okay now next question number 6 explain the term mechanical advantage and state its units guys very easy it's already given in the book question number 7 define velocity ratio unit less and very important thing question number 8 guys how is mechanical advantage is is related to velocity ratio for an ideal machine and practical machine so guys for an ideal machines advantage is numerically equal to the velocity ratio okay now for practical machine you know see the mechanical advantage must be less than vr we already have discussed this guys question number 1 9 define the term efficiency of the machine give two reason for a machine not to be 100% efficient okay so guys if not 100% efficient means what it's a practical machine isn't it so give any two reason first is maybe friction due to the which the high energy loss and uh, you know what weight of moving part you know thus the output energy is always less than the input energy please go through that question number 9 see question number 10 It's very easy, guys. Please go through this. We can, you can able to, uh, you know, understand it. Okay. Question number eleven. A machine works as force multiplier, speed multiplier. In each case, state whether the velocity ratio is more than or less than one. So, guys, I already have told you for force multiplier, velocity ratio must be greater than one. For speed multiplier, it is less than one. Yes or no? So, guys, please go through that. Question number twelve. Very easy, guys. Okay. Just. Question number thirteen is very important. You know, see, this is what the derivation from your book itself. Okay, please go through that. Now the next question is question number fourteen. See, how mechanical advantage related to the velocity ratio? Same question, guys. Okay, this ratio, and just we have studied now. M A is equal to B R into eta. This is the same thing. Okay. Now question number fifteen, guys. With same kind of questions. Okay, see, question number sixteen. What is the lever state is principle? It's very easy, guys. Please go through the answer. Okay, question number seventeen. Write down the relation between uh, sorry relation expressing the mechanical advantage for a lever. So you know, uh, mechanical advantage uh, is equal to E effort arm by load arm. I have told you. Okay, please go through that. Question number twenty, guys. You know what is the 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 use of lever in the mechanical advantage? It's very easy. Please go through that, guys. The question number twenty one. Both pair of scissors and pair of pliers belong to the same class of lever. Name the name of the lever. It's a class one lever. Okay. 
please go through that guys the questions are very easy you know just i am not going to you know detail about all the questions since already i have discussed this in the online class please go through the, all the questions question number 22 this is 23 very easy questions are mechanical advantage and velocity ratio efficiency these are the thing we need to study about question number 24 very easy question which type of label which type of lever has a mechanical advantage always more than one you see there are three type kinds of lever please go through that guys okay question number 25 draw the diagram of lever which always used as a force multiplier effort time is always greater than the load arm okay class two lever see question number 26 guys these questions are very easy you know lemon crushers most of the time it is asking lemon crusher which you know belong to which class of lever you see here the effort and the load okay so effort is always greater than the load you can you see here so this is class 2 lever okay question number 29 this one is 29 please go through that guys question number 30 look questions are very easy you know the thing is question number 232 class 3 levers have mechanical advantage less than one why are they why are they then used the lever of class 3 with no get gain in force but we get gain in speed because the load arm always greater than the force effort arm yes or no simple so guys question number 233 this is the bottle opener question this is the sugar tongs these are already mentioned in your book okay question number 20 35 questions are very easy guys you, you can see here okay Very easy questions. Thirty-six. Classify the following levers. It's there. Please go through that. Question number thirty-seven. These are also given in your books. Okay. Please go through that, guys. Question number thirty-nine. And finally, question number forty. Okay. So this is all about your exercise three A theory questions. Now let us go for numerical. So guys, let me. I have just taken taken the snap of your numericals. Just question number. There are twelve number of questions you need to answers. Please go through the book. These are only questions, okay? And then uh, please refer to the answers. The I have written here solution number one for num one. Num means numerical, guys. Okay. And then uh, you know, please uh, go go through. I mean thoroughly, guys. Please go thoroughly all the solutions which we have already discussed in our class. I mean the online classes. Okay, but still. Uh, please, uh, all the all the answers I have mentioned here. This is question number eight A, option. Okay, this one is uh, B option. Sorry, this is option number A. This is option number C and D. All the questions are very easy. Question number nine. Please go through that. Okay, then we see question number eleven. Okay, and finally question number twelve. So guys, I must tell you one thing. Please go through all the questions. Write down in your Uh, note copy solve all the questions if you have at all doubt anything please uh, uh, do ask me